Hey, this is Jay Lee at FrogCube.com, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to make available my version 4 part kit to take an Aquion 20 gallon high aquarium and turn it into a vertical terrarium. Uh, so, what I am basically selling is these vents with latches and uh, these hinges to uh, frame the front door glass. Uh, this also comes with uh, some stainless steel mesh to uh, close uh, the vents if you want them fruit fly proof as well as uh, some Surehold super glue although most of the time you'll be using um, silicone so I do not sell the glass to go with this if you want go out buy your own single strength glass uh, and get it cut to size. You can do this at Lowell's, wherever. Um, I will put the very specific um, measurements, uh, which have maybe a two millimeter uh, variance in them, but uh, I will put those measurements uh, in the comments or uh, in the description of this video. But basically what you'll do is you'll wanna first go on the inside of the uh, frame here and uh, use a razor to cut off all excess uh, silicone. You'll build, want to add silicone at the bottom on the inside and have a glass piece cut for that bottom. And that'll be right there at the bottom. Uh, for our tests here, I'm actually not going to use any silicone to keep it in place right now, uh, but definitely if I was working on this, I would add it later. Uh, just for testing, if you want, you don't need to. Uh, I can, for example, take my bottom vent, uh, put it on the lip of the uh, frame. As you can see, it just pops into place, and it actually just goes right over the bottom piece of glass here. I've had left a uh, about an eighth of an inch variance, a little bit more than that, uh, for you to be able to pull this up and down. Uh, so you can angle it appropriately to make sure that your door is at the proper angle with your vents. Here's the top vent. Again, I'm going to put it in the lip. Pops there at the top into place. It might be a bit snug in the beginning. Uh, again, uh, you're going to want to put silicone on the inside to keep these into place. But like I said, you may not want to do it at the beginning because you may want to adjust things by a few millimeters just to make sure they get in place correctly. Uh, also, if you are going to add the mesh, you're going to want to put it in before you place your vents. Technically, you could pop it in afterwards. Uh, I've made more area available in the back, so it's easy to pop into place. You're also going to have a 16 inches tall door here. And uh, like I said, uh, these uh, frame the door, so you just actually pop them right on the top of the glass. And on the bottom of the glass. And uh, you may want to uh, use silicone. You may want to use the Surehold Super Glue to put them in place. Tell me what works best for you. I've heard that E6000 glue actually works a lot better. It's more of a gel. And then this just actually pops right onto the front door. There. And uh, like I said, you may want to adjust the bottom to get it the way you want it. Making sure that you have the right spacing at the top and bottom. And that's why I put that variance here at the bottom for you. Once you do, you'll have an easy system to convert your aquarium into a terrarium. All right, that's it. I'm going to make this available tomorrow for sale. Uh, I hope you like the improvements to it. Uh, there are a few little details that I'll go more into for a better installation video, but I wanted you to see it right now, how it would work. So, uh, hey, let me know what you think. This is Jay Lee at frogcube.com, and have a great weekend.